uh, Dana Abercrombie, The Coalition. Thank you so much for both speaking with me. I love how charming this show is. And with both of your characters, Jul you play Julia, you play Mimo. I was wondering, what is it about this show that you really love? Ooh, you wanna go first? I love the heart. Yeah. And the values it teaches you. It, just the... I think, yeah, it, it, it's, I think um, Vanessa Bauche, who plays Nora, said it best when we were filming. It's a, it's a show about love. It's about love. And what love will make you do. What would you do for the people that you love? And so the sacrifices to yeah. do what you love. Mm -hmm. So you play the best friend to Maximo, and you're kind of like the love interest friend as well. I was wondering, <laughs> what, in, what is it about, Ma for your characters, what is it about Maximo that you think draws your characters to him? Oh. Wow. I think, I think for Memo, Memo looks up to him a lot. I think Memo admires how persistent he is and how much of a hard worker he is. And uh, he gets inspired by seeing his friend go after his dreams. I think Memo definitely wants to be more like his friend, Maximo. I definitely think I, I see his heart. I see his values. Um, I see his potential. And I think that's what attracts me to him because I have a lot of information. I have a, lo a lot of knowledge that I would like to share with someone like that. Now, for you, for Fernando, Memo is the kind of guy who believes in embellishing. But what is the one thing he won't embellish on? Hmm. Mm. That's a great question. I mean, I think Memo carries himself with a lot of pride. On, you know, he, he thinks he looks great in everything he wears. You do. Yeah, and accessories he might use. Watch out for episode one. Um, so I don't, I, think, I don't think he has to embellish in like who he is as a person necessarily. Like he might lie on his resume or whatever, but like who he is at a core, he doesn't have to embellish on that. I think he's very happy with who he is. And Julia, you kind of, the character of Julia learned uh, English through reading a lot of different books. I was wondering what book would best sum up Acapulco? Oh. That's a... That's a I don't think I think our show is so unique and different and that I don't think you'll like find something out there. Yeah. Book. No, this is a one time. We're pioneers time. in what we're doing, I guess, alongside with Apple. <laughs> I like that very much. And for both of you, if you could step outside of your character. So as Fernando and Camelia, what, what advice would you give your characters as they go on their season one journey? Ooh. Oh, I would tell her to stick to her gut instinct. I think that will, yeah. I, will, I think that will dictate the next step for her. Yeah, I think- To trust her intuition, for sure. I think for me is listen a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And if you could describe this show, both of you using just three words, what would you say? Um, I would say universal. I would say love. Sweet. Family. I think family. Mm -hmm. For me, family. And dreams. It's about dreams. And community. Yeah. I like that very much. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Well, thank you. Thank you.